Hi everybody and welcome back to Suburban Homesteader, Wyoming, Arizona. And it's a cold, blustery, snowy day today here in Wyoming. But I'm going to plant onion sets. And I always grow onions from live plants also. But I wanted to show you my technique in growing them from sets where you can start them early inside and get really a jump on the onion season. As you know, I'm in Shed Wars and I'm on Team Woodcutter. So this is a Shed Wars video on planting onions. I'm going to do up a tray of onion sets. Now these are a Dutch white onion. There's 75 in that bag. And I'm going to plant them actually in a tub. So I have sphagnum moss that I've soaked for about a half an hour. And then I have my garden potting soil that I mix. And it has perlite, vermiculite, and organic potting soil, and a half of one of these bricks. And so I put it in water, soak it, let it expand, and I take half of it when I do this bucket. Now the sphagnum moss is about three quarters of an inch deep. It's very wet, you can see the water. And to that I'm gonna just dump the whole bucket of my mixture. And I can see down some of it at the bottom to get mixed, so I'm going to mix that around. I'm just going to push that over. Now could I fill this fuller? I could, but I don't really need to do that with the onion sets. Now I am going to plant a lot of live plants too, but the reason why I like these is the zone is three to nine. It's, they're deer resistant also. So that just helps if you have that as a problem. And I'm just going to take each one of these and I'm going to press it halfway in. Now make sure that the pointy side is always up and this is where the root system is going to come from. And so it's just really a matter of pressing in, about halfway in there. It becomes snug. Um, this is damp, but it's not wet at all. Now five to a row is a good spacing for this size tub. And so I'm going to put them on this side and on that side. Well, there was actually 73 bulbs in there. If you were planting them outside, you couldn't put them this close together. But I'm actually going to transfer these later. But it's too cold for me to plant them outside right now. So I'm going to put a light watering on them. I just use an old soda bottle. It's got, I put holes in it and I just will just spray that on there. It's lukewarm water and it will just help them settle a little bit. Then the last thing I'm going to do is put some vermiculite all the way around. Now this is just a light dusting of vermiculite. Now I did water it on top that time but after that I won't water it on top. And what I'm going to use camera up. On these corner are toilet paper rolls and I have two of them and that way I can water right down in there and it gets the sphagnum moss all wet which will pull the water up to the soil. So there you have it. A big tub full of onions. And when the weather is a little bit nicer and the greens are growing on the onions, I'll plant these outside. Well, that's an easy way to plant your onion sets when they're available now, even though your weather may not be cooperating. And it makes great onions. They get a good start, a good root system. And then you're just really careful when you plant them. And I'll show you when I go to plant them exactly how I do it. As always, like, subscribe, share with the world. And I hope you're having a wonderful day, if it's snowing or not snowing. And to Shed Wars, Go Team Woodcutter!